Hi everybody, this is Shaq from CG Mag and I'm here with Chelsea. Hello, I'm also from CG Mag. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and we are here to talk about Overwatch. It just recently came out and we are both kind of obsessed with it. <laughs> just a little bit. I play on PC, Shaq plays on PS4. So. Xbox One, actually. Oh, okay, <laughs> um, I lied about that, I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah, so I recorded this footage earlier because I tried to do, we tried to do this with like live audio and it couldn't work because you, you gotta focus. Yeah. <laughs> They're throwing so much at you. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, I've even, like, with playing people online, it's like, you have to focus. The only, con like, te like not text, but, like, verbal uh, communication I've had in this game is, there's a Widowmaker up there, or <laughs> Junkrat behind you. Like, or, you just want to, like, I'm just expressing myself. Where's that myself tracer? In, like, <laughs> I'm expressing myself in, like, screams and, like, random sounds, like, ah! Yeah, basically. <laughs> but, uh, Yes, this is me playing Zara. Uh, she's my main in like the tank class. She's my she's my Russian wife. <laughs> <laughs> she is such a badass. It's so awesome. It's actually when I when the, the beta was out when I was playing with her, I actually sucked with her and I thought she was like a really hard character to use and now she's like one of my like favorite characters to use. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Um uh, so as you guys know, as you guys may or may not know, this is Blizzard's uh, brand new a uh, class-based shooter. It's their first IP in what, 17 years? 17 years. Yeah, something like that, yeah. And uh, it's very Team Fortress 2 inspired, or very similar to Team Fortress 2, but I think it does, uh, it changes it up in different elements in the sense that it combines MOBA-esque elements because of like all the hero characters. Like I've heard it called as a hero shooter per se. Yeah, I think that's more accurate than calling it a MOBA. Like, I mean, everyone always compares it to Battleborn, but I would say Battleborn's more of a MOBA shooter than, um, than Overwatch. I'd say Overwatch is really, it, it's, it's, you know. It's a straight up first person shooter that just happens to have MOBA pieces. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, oh yeah, rip tire, <laughs> super scary. <laughs> Honestly, one of the things that like attracted me to the game was the characters, because they're so interesting and they're so diverse as well. Especially yeah. the female characters, like, there's a lot more that could be done, but mm. at the same time, they're all like really well designed. All from different um, like, like ethnicities and locations. Yeah, and, and yeah. even their voice actors, like all the characters, like from all the different races, they are actually voiced by people of that race. Yes. So it's pretty interesting. <laughs> We well, I mean, you me couldn't find a gorilla to voice Winston, but... I was going to say, <laughs> dude, that's some Rise of the Planet of the Apes type nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, if they actually did, like, the science community would be like, why have you been hiding this for so long? <laughs> but uh, this is yeah, me just throwing bombs or whatever. Uh, we're trying to get there, but we're getting our ass handed right now. I've actually been finding I have a lot more fun of playing defense than I do offense. Which is weird I'm because I love playing Tracer, who's like an ball. offense character. Yeah. Yeah. But the Reaper out of nowhere just wrecking me <laughs> from the back. I actually, I was when I was playing last night, there was like this really great play of the game that um, was... Oh, you're switching now. Who are you switching to? Yes, I am. Uh, I don't remember who I switched. I switched to Pharah. Ah, yes. The other wife. She is one of my... <laughs> other, the other... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dude, her... Her ult... Actually, all of the alts are super, super clutch at, like, the right time. Yeah. If you know how to use them anyway. Exactly. Yeah. But she's more to, uh, yeah, fair. Like, her main thing is that she has her jetpack and she has a rocket launcher. And uh, I got stuck right there. <laughs> I actually find that you'd think she'd be an easy character to be, like, good with because you can no. just, like, shoot your... Uh, your rocket launcher everywhere, but mm. she's actually really hard to get a hang of, especially with all the flying and stuff. Exactly, because like one thing I appreciate about this game is the verticality of it. My is that there's all these open environments with different mm -hmm. areas of the, like upper like uh, like balconies and stuff that you can like reach and access and whatnot. And uh, every character has like their own different way of getting up there. So like. Uh, Hanzo will like literally climb up. Yeah, it has a nice platform element to it too. Exactly. It is so much fun. Dude, uh, who are your mains, if I have to ask? Uh, my mains are, um, of course, the wife Tracer, um, the other wife Mercy. Um, <laughs> they're all my wives. <laughs> and, oh yeah, this is me um, getting wrecked by Hanzo. That was an embarrassing one. I hate that one. <laughs> um, in the beta, I played a lot of Diva, and now recently is uh, Zarya. I can't get into Diva. Like, she's uh, she's interesting. You have to like. She, I would like to describe her as a tank for people who like to play offense. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, and actually, I've been. I mean, everyone's good with Bastion, but like, 
there are legit Bastion strategies yeah, that you can are. be a good Bastion player I remember, with. I remember when the beta came out, everyone's like, Bastion is literally the most unfair character. <laughs> and I realized that... He's actually uh, really easy to deal with if you know how. Yeah. Just it's people a case, are too salty. It's not Over, a, yeah, they're it's a, over salty. <laughs> it's a case of get good, pretty much. <laughs> Basically. But, uh, I do enjoy but not even game. like he's so easy to deal with. You just wait till he's done, then you shoot. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy in this game the fact that uh, usually I hate playing support classes. Usually, like I avoid it as see, much I as I can. But here in this game, they actually kind of make support class fun. Yeah, and then they actually feel vital and they can still do damage. Yeah, yeah. Like I've always been um, a fan of support because I've always known I would like suck on a really offensive role. But yeah. like I love Mercy. Like whenever I like when I, every time I play my friends, I'm like, you are all so lucky. I actually love playing Mercy. <laughs> <laughs> she, I think she's my most played character right now. Actually, really? Yeah. Honestly, uh, oh, you Junkrat, lost this game, didn't you? Eh? Yeah, no, we got slapped. <laughs> it wasn't even fun. <laughs> But yeah, two, one, and then it was just, that was it. Just an embarrassing loss for us. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, the thing is, is that I don't feel that bad when we lose and stuff. Because mm -hmm. it's still a super fun game. Yeah, same. Play of the game. So yeah, here's another round two of another game of Overwatch. Uh, I This time I decided to play as Soldier 76, who's... He's the most instantly familiar to like typical like first person shooter fans because he plays like a first person shooter. I know, shooter. it's freaking hilarious. <laughs> he's got yeah, like he's got his the gun sprint. really needs to be nerfed though. <laughs> Honestly, his gun is like with certain people, he won't win that easily. But with uh I think he's especially useful for when you see like junk rat and his rip tire. Yeah. It is terrifying when it's not you're not the one using it. Yeah. And he's the one who could take it out probably the easiest. Mm -hmm. I guess so, but I mean just in general. But I also really like how he's like a lot of like just general FPS like elements to him. Yeah. Like he's literally just a soldier. This game, honestly this game is really easy to pick up and just play. Oh yeah, it's incredibly easy. And I come from a background of like sucking at FPS games. <laughs> which is why I play on PC, because I just I don't have the coordination to play with a controller. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm too yeah. used to a controller for me to move to PC. Yeah. <laughs> but see, I mean, there's so you have more, much more accuracy, too. You know, yeah, it's like it's point and click. Yeah, that I can completely understand. Yeah. But I mean, just, you know, the fact that I could pick up this game, it's really just like a few simple controls. Like yeah. you move, you have your special moves. And that's also something I really, really like about the game. What makes it feel a lot more cartoony. Um, is the fact that you have special moves. Yeah, I'll, everyone Yeah, everyone has a like unique special moves that actually fit the character, gives yeah. them more personality and whatnot. Um, the main, actually the main one for Soldier 76 is that he puts on his glasses and gets his aimbot on. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty aim, funny. <laughs> and it's great. Because <laughs> it fits that type of character perfectly. And the kind of player that would play him too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually, um, was watching some pro videos online like during the beta and there was like this one Korean player who he was sniping while jumping as a Widowmaker. <laughs> he got his MLG on. He got his yeah, of course. It's like stuff like that intimidates me for competitive mode, but at the same time, it's yeah, like... See, I got my aimbot on just there. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get banned by Blizzard. <laughs> hey, it's not a glitch, it's a feature. <laughs> But yeah, here is just me actually doing pretty well. Mm. Usually, I don't actually play Soldier 76 that often, but uh, I want to get better. When I do, with I'm surprisingly good at it. Hey, you won! And, hey, yeah, <laughs> victory! Did you get play the game? I don't think I did, but I want to make sure first. Did I? Did I? Did I? No, I didn't. No. Because <laughs> MJ Hush Puppy stole it with was probably a really cool. I think my favorite play of the game moment was this. Actually, no, this one was really cool. Because it was literally just, like, the tip of it. Yeah. You see how close? Shit. <laughs> yeah, that is crazy. And that's on console, not PC. Right? <laughs> that is just surprising, and I'm hoping people give me a high point, but they don't. Like, the, <laughs> hey, listen, I got five Helix Rocket kills, man. Like, oh, oh. Are you going to get an epic? Give me the five. Give, give me the five. Give ah, me the, oh. Not epic. Unfortunately. <laughs> and, uh, wait, what did I do? Oh, what did you no. do? 
Hold on, you gotta pause this. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, you can like, comment, subscribe. You know, subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. Uh, check us out at our website at cgmagonline.com. Subscribe to our physical magazine. Uh, check us out on Facebook at uh, comic facebook.com slash comics gaming magazine. Check us out on Twitter at at cgmagonline. Uh, follow us on Google Plus at cgmagonline. And uh, check me out on the Twitter and the Instagram and the Twitter and Tumblr at Shaq Excellence. And you can follow me on uh, Twitter and Tumblr as It's Revy Dutch. And you can follow my gaming blog at irdalienbutts.tumblr.com. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a dash between IRD and Alien Butts. Before I forget, also, check out comicbento.com. We have a whole cool thing with them where if you put in the offer code CGMAG in all caps, you get $5 off your subscription and you get free comp. We get good comics and graphic Ooh. novels Ooh. delivered straight to your door. It's really that. awesome, like and it. you should check it out. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Yep. See ya.